Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to give you five thrash metal style guitar riffs that I want you to practice every day because these riffs I'm going to show you is going to help you become a better metal rhythm guitar player. <laughs> Alright guys, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel and ding the little bell. So these five thrash metal riffs I'm going to show you, what, what's going to happen is I'm going to play each riff at normal speed, and then after that, I'll bring it in close and I'll break everything down for you note by note. Now one quick note, no pun intended, is each riff is part of a song, and I'll, I'll kind of explain that along the way as well. So guys, let's jump right in and let's play some metal. So this first metal riff is kind of a real thrashy metal style riff, and I'll explain the song in a bit here where this comes from, but we're going to start out with a basic power chord, then we're going to do what's called a triplet, an alternate pick back and forth, okay, real fast, real snappy, and we're going to palm mute that like this. We're going to do that twice, you hear that? So we're going to chicka chun, chicka chun. Like, like I said, real snappy, very, very quick. Just hit that power chord. Just practice that in the beginning. Now, I'm doing the power, I'm hitting the power chord. But when I do that alternate pick, when I'm calling a triplet here, I'm only doing that on the E string. So again, power chord, then triplet twice. Okay, that part's pretty simple. Then we move on to the riff, okay? So the riff is. Now, for one, I'm alternate picking those notes because after doing the triplets, the because we're alternate picking those, it's kind of easy, easier to stay in that alternate picking groove and plus alternate picking that riff kind of keeps the groove and helps you keep tempo you know with the song with what you're playing if that makes sense so here's the riff that we're playing though we're on the first string and we're going to go from zero to five six then everything else is on the a string and i'm in standard tuning by the way i didn't mention that earlier so i am in standard tuning on you know of course a six string guitar here uh, i don't mess with alternate tunings too much i think you guys know that about me by now uh, so anyway, we're going to go from, on the first string, 0, 5, 6. Then the second string, the A string, we're going to be on the 5th fret, and we're going to be on 5, 7, and 8. So you're going from 5 on the second string, from 5 to 8 to seven, so you're starting with a low note, then you're going to the highest note, okay? Then back to five, and then seven. So it's this right here. Mix it in with what we just learned on the first string. throw all that together. Now that riff is actually from a song of mine called Apocalyptic Dreams. That's my very first album that I, that I released back in 2013. Alright, 
this next thrash metal riff. We're going to break this down into two parts like we did the prior one here. And what we're focusing on this time, guys, is the downstrokes. So some, some downstrokes and some palm muting with riffing. The riff is simple in nature, but let's break it down. Okay, so the first part of it is this. Okay, so I'm palm muting that open E twice. Okay, then I'm, that's the E string there. I did say that, yeah, open E, duh. <laughs> and then I'm going to the second string, second fret. So, okay, it's just one, two, one. So one, two on that open E palm muted, then one note on that second string, second fret. Now, do that twice. Okay, then that's, we're almost there. Then you're going to do that again, but you're just going to palm mute that E string one time. So it's like palm mute it twice, then hit that second string, second fret, palm mute it twice again, second string, second fret, then go back to palm muting that E string once, and then go back to that second string, second fret. So follow me here. using downstrokes for this okay we're palm muting and we're using downstrokes so if you want just practice that for a while and just try to get faster at that because that is really going to help you build up your downstroke speed and I know a lot of people have problems with that okay so now let's move on to the riff part of that and we're going to kind of hang around the same little area here so it kind of simplifies the riff but it just sounds really cool and melodic so here it is okay so we're starting out on that second string remember we just finished that that palm muting riff right so your first finger is already going to be on that second string, second fret. So what you're going to do is take your next finger and you're going to start out, the riff starts on the third fret of that second string. Now you're just going to go back and forth, three, two, three. Now when you get back to that third fret, you're going to go over to your D string, second fret. Then just walk it back down. And you're going to end on the first string, third fret. So it's like this. And we're using downstrokes, and a lot of those notes, when I'm actually playing the riff, I'm palm muting a lot of those notes. I'm kind of going off and on. And you can play around with that. Just, you know, kind of play what feels right and what sounds good to your ears, because that's really what playing metal music is all about what sounds good to you okay so play around with palm muting some of the notes some of the notes there and maybe taking the palms slightly off some of those notes you get a really awesome contrast and feel that way you see what I'm talking about so just play around with that of course get the riff down first so let's go over it from start to finish now that riff is actually from my masterpiece album and it's from a song called Wings of Destruction. I think it's track eight on my Masterpiece album. So, and I'm actually playing that, I believe I'm playing that on a seven string if I'm not mistaken, but we're playing it on six, you know, for this particular lesson. But again, it's a very good riff to play every day to really practice your downstroke riffing. Next riff we're gonna learn we're going to we're gonna do some hammer ons and pull offs like simultaneously there They're, they kind of all run together anyway the, those techniques 
but this is probably one of the more difficult riffs and it's because of the proximity difference on the fretboard in doing these hammer-on pull-offs. So there's two parts to this. I'm starting out here on the second string and what I'm doing, I'm going to be pulling off on the five and seven, on uh, fifth and seventh fret here. So what I do when I pull off the first time, and I pull all the way off, meaning I'm going five, seven, five, zero. I'm not picking that open note, I'm just picking it right now so that you can hear the note, but in, in a perfect world it'd be like, you would really only pick that, that first note, and then you're going to quickly hammer on and pull off, you know, but you're going to pull all the way off so that open note rings out. So this. Now, right after I do that hammer on pull off, I'm going to go back to the open E string, well, for the first time in this riff, but I'm going to go to that open E string and just and mute it. Okay. So I do that twice. So if you, if you want, you know, pause the video here and just practice this right here. set over and over and just kind of start out slow and you can gradually build up speed okay after I do that twice though I go to the F power chord there so that's on the second and third string we are on eight and ten okay so one two then power chord Now, I threw the power chord in that riff because I didn't want to teach you just this. Okay, practice that. That's great. But I want you to get used to doing these techniques like we just did, but then going straight into a power chord just as if you're playing like a real song. Okay. Um, now, after we do that, take that same concept that we just did, and we're just going to play it in a different place on the fretboard. A little bit different here, but we're still on the second string, and our notes that we're pulling or hammer on and pulling off on are going to be two and three, the second and third fret. Okay. So that's your notes, two, three, two, zero. But remember, you're only picking that that second fret, that first note on the second fret. Okay. The notes are this, but only pick that first note and hammer on, pull off everything else. And then we're going to do the same thing here too. We're going to palm mute that open E in between. And then I'm going to go to a power chord just like I did the, on the first section of that pattern there. And that power chord is the C. Okay, that's the second and third strings. Your frets are three and five. So here it is slow. Now I want you to practice playing those together and this is where it can kind of get difficult, you know, learn the notes here, but again I talked about proximity. You're kind of down here, then you got to quickly go all the way back up here. gave this riff to you for a reason, you know, with it being kind of far apart like that, because it's just going to help you better navigate from one place to another on the fretboard, you know, when you're playing those fast metal riffs, and it's going to help your transitions when you're playing just any kind of transition from one part of the song to another part, because, you know, you're kind of, again, it's kind of tough to go all the way from there, and then go way back up here using that technique, you know. So again, practice that over and over. Now, that's not from any particular song. I actually just kind of made this up as I was doing this video. I started playing around with it. I was like, hey, this is something that's going to be helpful to you. And it's going to, again, all this, is, all this is really catered to helping you become a better metal rhythm guitar player.
Now this next riff is going to be a little bit more technical to some of you because we're, it's almost like the hammer on pull off we just did, but this is what I call kind of a roll off, okay? So I'm going to play this first part. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm alternate picking, all right, and we're, we're back and forth between the second and third strings, the A and D. And what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm going to be playing, I'm actually picking that first note, which our first note here in this case is going to be the third string second fret. And I'm just going to pick it, but I'm going to pull off immediately. And I'm doing an upstroke on that, okay? So I'm actually starting this with an upstroke, okay? And as soon as I finish that upstroke and pull off of that second fret, I'm gonna palm mute the open A string. So it's gonna sound like this. And see, I, I put my hands immediately back down to, to muffle that string noise, but because we're playing this kind of fast, this is this riff's kind of hard to play slow because of the nature of it. So I just want you to practice this over and over to start with, okay? And it, this is a good rhythm, this is a good metal riff to like set like a click track or metronome or even, even like a drum track or something like that so you can help keep timing. Now, when I do that, let's see, how many times do I do that? Four times. Then I'm going to hammer on the third string, third fret. So it's a little tough riff. It's, it's even tough for me to play, and I wrote this riff. It's, I even screw up on it um, sometimes when I'm trying to play it because it's something that if you don't practice it uh, on a daily basis or at least on a regular basis, you know, you're going to screw up. So that's why I'm throwing it in here in this, like, you know, thrash metal riff that you want to practice every day so you can stay on top of this and just be proficient at this at all times. So what I'm doing in this riff is I'm going back and forth to some different power chords. I'm kind of landing on some different power chords. So after we do that first little pattern there, I'm going to go to a B flat, okay? All right, so we run through that the first time around. We, you know, we're kind of ending on that roll off off the third fret, third string. And then the next time we play it, instead of doing that, we go straight to the B flat. Which that's your second, third string, frets one and three. So again, let's try to play this slow. Now the second time I played that through, I did the exact same thing. I just ended on a different power chord just to spice things up a little bit. So we landed on the F power chord. That's your first and second string frets one and three. So the first time we land on the B flat, second time around F. So let's, let's go through this one more time guys. Now, that song is actually from also my uh, the album called Masterpiece that I put out in 2019. And um, the, the riff isn't exactly like that, but uh, the name of the song, and now I'm trying to think of the name of the song. I've got to break out my CD to do that. <laughs> the name of the song is called Never Enough. So that's actually track number six. It's called Never, Never Enough on the Masterpiece album. Thank <laughs> you.
Now you probably noticed that has a slight Megadeth feel to it, kind of like a Holy Wars-ish kind of feel. And you know, I did that intentionally, that is kind of how that starts out. But I wanted to do some different things with this riff, kind of to make it original and authentic for you to practice, okay? So we are starting out on the second string and we're gonna be on frets five, six, and seven. And we're going back to those triplet, okay? We're using that triplet, a really quick alternate picking technique, really snappy, but we're gonna be doing that for all three notes. Like before, you know, we only did that on one note. Okay, this time we're... So every time you pick, it's gonna be a different note. One, two, three. Alternate picking, real fast, real snappy. Now, what I'm doing after that, that part's pretty simple. I'm going to the E string and I'm gonna hit the fifth and sixth fret, then I'm gonna do like a little hammer on pull off, okay? Now, the next part, the second half of this riff, we're going to go on the E string and kind of repeat that same pattern there, but we're gonna be playing on, on frets three, four, and five. And then we're just gonna end on the third fret, then back to the E power chord. So let me take you through this entire thing, okay? got a really nice Megadeth vibe to that and uh, I think that's important again you're doing those triplets you're doing those fast alternate picking that alternate picking method but you're moving those fingers with that picking technique so again your your mind to both hands connection really has to be smooth and has to be there and that just comes with practicing that type of thing over and over again that riff may be easy for some of you and that's fine you know practice it move on to the next or it may be difficult, if it's difficult for you, you know, I just wanna challenge you to practice each section real slow until you get it down. There's three things I wanna share with you real quick, guys. So first of all, if you don't have my free practice guide, I know most of you have that already, but there's a link in the description of this YouTube video that you can go download that completely free. Number two, most of you also know I have albums out there under my name as a solo artist. So I am on iTunes, Spotify, uh, Amazon, Google Play, all those good places. Just look up my name, Jason Stallworth. I've also got a link for that in the YouTube description as well. Lastly, number three, I also have a shop where I have physical CDs like my latest album, Masterpiece. That's out there if you wanna have the physical copy of that. And I've also got some really cool metal merch like the shirt and wear and keep it metal and several other designs on t-shirts and mugs and that sort of thing. So that's a really great way to support me in this channel as well. There's a link to that in the YouTube description as well. So guys, thank you so much for your support. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions about these riffs. I'm always happy to jump in and have a little chat about metal. Guys, until the next video, keep it metal.